Okay, we are here at another Desiree Industries, right? And I got about 20 minutes. I gotta be quick. I gotta be like the bona fide hustler himself. I'm gonna go in and if I can't pull anything out, I am not a reseller. I am not a true eBay, uh, um, yeah. Uh, I will have failed, I'll tell you that. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of What Sold on eBay. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, I source my items out of abandoned storage units and I love it. It is my passion. Also, eBay has changed my life. Uh, YouTube has molded me into the reseller that I am today. I have watched nothing but eBay solds constantly for the last year in storage unit videos. And so that's how I've got the knowledge I know. That's the importance and that's the um, value of watching these what sold on eBay's. And so I'd like to share this with you. Um, first, we got this. Corel Draw 2017, it is sealed. Now the funny thing about this item, there were some listed at $90.89. And um, when I checked the solds, the ones that were listed for around 200 and 170 were selling. Um, and so I decided to list it for $149.94 and it sold within a day. Um, and so it's not always good to uh, price it with the lowest price. Sometimes people um, trust more um, if it is priced higher. Um, they believe that it's more authentic. I believe that is what happened in this case. And so glad to see that going out. This is for the 550 unit. Also from the 550 unit, we got these Beat Studio Wireless. Um, and how you tell the Beat Studio is on the inside of right here. If you look, it has the model number right there. And that's how you tell if they're authentic. I did test them, they are working. I got a total of $59.94 out of these. These also sold in a matter of a day or two days. Next, we got this uh, Body Honey Mill, brand new sealed. I bought this with a lot, uh, a huge lot of brand new uh, anti-aging uh, cosmetics and other cosmetics. I paid $20 for that lot and there's probably $2,000 plus in uh, value that I got out of that lot. Now I got this at a yard sale about a year ago. This is some of the last stuff that is left. I got $8.94 out of it. Next we have an item that Grimes Finds talks about, that What The Hells talks about. It is the Little Mermaid band cover. And the way that you tell it's the band cover is that artwork right in the middle of the castle right there. Um, it's not appropriate. Uh, and so uh, that's how you tell the band cover. It's also a black diamond. Um, I thought these were going for extreme value. I thought they were going for 100, 200, even a thousand uh the way they what the hells was talking about it uh but i found it i got seven dollars 99 cents took about three weeks to sell now you may be wanting to look for brand new sealed copies of this i'm sure those go for some good value next we got an item out of that 550 unit it is a kicker dx amplifier um this one took another day or two days to sell i got 47.94 out of it also out of that 550 unit is this Michael Kors uh, purse. This one is in good condition and I listed it for $49.94. This one took two days to sell. Now I found three Michael uh, Kors purses out of that unit. All three of them sold uh, very quickly within a day, two days. The other two that I listed had uh, condition issues and they still sold. And so um, don't make the mistake by not listing it if it does have condition issues. Next we have a watch, uh, it's a Relic watch. I've had this for probably about eight months. It's been listed for eight months. I, it does not have a battery. Um, I got 1494 out of it. I'm glad to see that one out the door. Next we got a lot of dorbs. And uh, these, I do not recommend picking up these dwarves, right? I do not, or Funko Pop. They gotta be um, certain types of Funko Pop and certain types of dwarves. I don't recommend it. I got $16.94 out of that. Next, this is out of the 550 unit. Now, if you do storage units, I recommend selling the laptop chargers. If you have time, 
and uh, yeah, they don't go for much, but they do sell. Uh, this one sold in a matter of a day. It's a Dell laptop charger. I got eleven ninety four out of it. And lastly, we got this Xbox One S lock. Um, it is not brand new, but it is in the box. It's got the cables. It's got one remote. It's got seven games. Um, now, and also with this one, they were selling for a lot less. Um, I decided to get all the games I could. I put it with the bundle. I made it look very nice, and I got $239 uh, for it uh, when other lots were selling for about $200. And so, uh, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the thrift store video uh, footage that I got coming up. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're gonna do a, something a little different. We are going to these thrift stores and we're gonna find something. I'm not gonna leave the thrift stores empty-handed. In fact, I've already been in a thrift store. We're here at this uh, thrift boutique right here and um it's a really cool um it's a new nonprofit here and what they do they help people that suffer with homelessness and um chronic incarceration get back on their feet and so um yeah i'm glad i could uh support them and find some cool finds and so first of all check this out i uh learned this by watching lonnie's channel from garage flips about these key fobs right here we have this remote vehicle starting system and uh it seems to be brand new although it's open open package i checked the listing and i made sure that everything was there that was supposed to be there and it seems like they're selling for 70 dollars now i paid 15 dollars for it um and they they are selling and so it's going to be a quick sell um that is not all that we found out of there we also got these at&t um trim line telephones do you believe people still buy these telephones now these ones are brand new and looking at the listings they're selling about 16 17 18 dollars i actually have gotten two of them so there's two right there um i think i might just bundle them up so i don't got to pay shipping twice i'll bundle them up and i'll ask 30 dollars now i pay two dollars each for those and so uh yeah some good pickups i was uh first time i've been here i totally support it and guess what we're on to the next so we just got out of goodwill they had a lot of good stuff but the price just was not there um they were too expensive um but i did find um something awesome i found these lot of vintage trains now you got an amtrak in there and a rio grande the amtrak was selling for about 30 dollars it seemed like and the rio grande was selling for a hundred 125 150 200 plus um and so what a pickup and even better than that even better than that i got a 50 percent off yes it was great tags and i got a 50 percent off and so uh i'm happy it was worth the stop on to the next okay so we are here at the desert industries here in utah the mormons run a thrift store and they keep their prices fair and they don't pick through their items. And so we are extremely blessed to have these uh, thrift stores here and they're all over. And so uh, we got it made, right? Um, let me tell you what I did find in there. And this is a bolo, right? Now it's heavy to ship, but it is a uh, Zeroshi uh, bread maker. I paid $7 for it. Zeroshi bread maker, right? I paid $7 for it. They're going for about $100 or you know somewhere around there um i could probably ship this under 20 bucks right that's uh 80 dollars that will be in pocket right there um next i tell you guys to look for these all the time they are another bolo and i'm so glad i found these two items for you it is uh brother ax22 electronic typewriter with the manual i paid five dollars for that they're going for about 50 cost of shipping on that it's probably about 15 that's 35 in pocket um well 
that's 30 in pocket because I paid the five bucks. Okay, we are on to the next. Okay, we are here at another Desiree Industries, right? And I got about 20 minutes. I gotta be quick. I gotta be like the bona fide hustler himself. I'm gonna go in and if I can't pull anything out, I am not a reseller. I am not a true eBay, uh, yeah. Uh, I will have failed, I'll tell you that. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick something out and I'll bring it out and show you guys. Okay, I'm walking out of the store right now. I did manage to get two items. Um, they're fairly good. We got this Eton. It's an Eton World Receiver, right? I paid five bucks. It's selling for about 40 and it's selling all day long. And we also got a vintage Microsoft mechanical keyboard. Now, the way you tell the mechanical keyboards is the keys are very clicky. And that's a good uh, keyword to put in your description is clicky. Um, that's selling for about 20 bucks. And so um, I think it was a success. We spent probably about an hour and uh, I don't know the numbers, but I wanted to do a different type of video. You know, <clears throat> uh, YouTube is difficult, guys. YouTube is difficult. Um, but i thank you guys for being here very much appreciated um that's all i have have a good night